Hey, my legion. I'm with my buddy John. We're at the Cart, cart House. Cart Horse. Cart, cart Horse. House. Cart. I, I knew I was going to do that. Cart Horse. They put the cart Distillery. The horse. Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, poor horse lost his face. Oh, no. <laughs> cart Horse Distillery. Distilling place. Open. I just put my mask on. I'll put my mask on real quick. Yeah, I had to do voice over here because inside there they're playing lots of music and stuff, so I didn't know, you know, what's be permanent amount. Now this was actually pretty pricey. Uh, we were there. I mean, well, I heard lots about this. I, I was only there the one time, and me you know, we were drinking. Uh, I was drinking that dumb bunny. They had like uh, around Easter time. They had like the bunny, and they took out the bottom. And they filled it with uh, chocolate liqueur or something like that, and then you ate the bunny afterwards. And we had some mixed drinks there. Me, John, and some buddies, and Brad, and everybody. We had fun. Uh, I think it was the last time we were ever there. I got some items, a little pricey, and you'll see how much they are when we do our haul. Like that magic thing. Of the, I got like the samplers of the. Uh, of some things right there, like that, right there. You'll see how much it was. And uh, it was a lot of really cool stuff, local stuff, local distillery. Engine House 39 had some like that. I got like some, you know, sample bottles of some stuff, even though and those were pricey too, but it's, it's okay. You know, I mean, I didn't get the giant bottles and stuff like that. It'd really be expensive. Uh, John got one. We'll see how much that is in a bit. Now, this section right here, this section right here is from my buddy Spoof. Mass Poover, she loves vodka. So I had the vodka, I had a $25 for that bottle. And right here, there's an archer with a, like a vodka prayer. So like Hail Mary. Well, I mean, a little bit like that. I mean, but it's different. Uh, but it's about vodka. I thought she'd get a kick out of that. It's pretty funny. And uh, I mean, I'm hoping you're, you're digging the video. I Like I said, I had to... They have some stuff, and you'll see that there. I uh, got a button right there. It's supposed to be a dollar. And coming up is the hall, and then also a history lesson about Captain Dobbins, and of course our typical humor and stuff too. Yeah, we're Hope back like from the buddy. Here we go. still local distillery, and uh, I'm gonna show you our hall. Yeah, this is, is part two. Well, Jason, you can start with your stuff. Okay, now what I got? I mean, like we I both said, got the same thing. Yeah, in house thirty nine mutual aid. Rum with the natural ginger, I suppose Marianne, habanero and apple flavoring. This is both $5 for so a little thingy. It's 25% alcohol. 25% alcohol. What Me else? and John got that. What else did you get? I got, uh, well, I showed, uh, I know my friend uh, Spoof loves vodka. I showed yeah. the big thing of vodka, 40%. Uh, the big thing of vodka is 25 but I got the small one, uh, new normal vodka. Uh, it was Carton Horse uh, Distillery. I mean, it was like five bucks right here. I got the American White Rum. This is 40% alcohol by volume. Wow, and that was five. Yeah, well, the little ones were like five. Yeah, the little ones were five. And what's your beef? And then this is the big one. It was a little pricey. Big one, Elizabeth. Yeah, Mad Magic Whiskey with Spice and Natural Flavor. Now, this was uh, $13. 29% alcohol right here. And then what do you get? Yeah, I got strawberry, watermelon, shine at 25% alcohol. Ooh, there you go. And I'll save my big thing for last. Uh, I don't big thing for last. You want to talk about? Yeah. And also, I got a button from the Carn Horse Distillery. This was a dollar, but I mean, everything together was 23 bucks. It's 13 five, five. I guess she might have gave me the button for free. It was supposed to be a dollar, but that was nice of her. So I saved a dollar, and then John okay, got some so, giant. Oh, I got a big one. Now, this is expensive because, you know, hey, it's not a big chain. So yeah. I, this is the Spice Rum. Captain wow. Dobbins Oak Rum. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. So, yeah, this was $48. 48 bucks. 50 to 7.3% alcohol by volume, 750 milliliters. 
Batch number four, bottle 34. So they also Ooh. number everything, too. Oh, wow. This Let is me the only fourth batch of this that they've made. Holy I don't know crap. how many bottles they do. It's a single barrel cast strength. Oh, it's Captain Dobbins Reserve. Okay. Oak rum. Aged in charred American oak barrels. Aged a minimum of six months. So wow. now people are like, well, who the hell is Captain Dobbins? Okay. All right, Captain Dobbins. I was a captain. The end. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not, so, yeah. He was a naval man back uh, a couple hundred years ago and uh, moved to Erie, PA. <clears throat> and uh, during the War of 1812, he was over in Island, Michigan. Him and some others got captured by the British. Uh, yada, yada, yada. He was a friend of his. I was a British colonel. Got him free and he. Uh, made his way to Ohio and back to Erie. Well, then he met with, a, uh, I think it was the Secretary of the Navy, something like that, and, uh, and told him about how big the strength of the uh, British Navy was on Lake Erie. So the guy's like, well, where? he knew that Dobbins is shipbuilding too. It's like, well, where's a good place? And he said, Presque Isle, the bay, because it's, uh, you know, uh, so it's like, you got Lake Erie, the coast, then you got this peninsula that kind of comes out, and you have a bay in there. So the only way to come in is through here. So and it's kind of shallow, so it makes it more, be very difficult for the British to be able to attack while they're building the ships. And uh, so, you know, that's where they built the ships. There's even what we call the dock is also known as Dobbins Landing. And I don't know if that's where he actually launched ships from. But, like the Brig Niagara, which we have a full, I think it's a full scale, it might not be quite full scale, but an operational replica yeah. that I took Jason to a few years ago, yeah. I remember that video, yep. people, your viewers. But uh, he had to drag that in another ship because they're, because of how shallow the bay was, they couldn't just sail out. They had to drag it across the peninsula using the anchor and some other stuff to drag it across the <laughs> peninsula yeah. and to be able to get to the main lake and uh, the Bragg Niagara actually became the second flagship in the Battle of Lake Erie in 1813 after the first one I don't know if it was actually sank but it was at least rendered him uh, operable so um, I'm going to bring forward his name Commodore Perry who was yep. in command he took the Bragg Niagara as his second flagship so it's also known as a flagship uh, Niagara and Erie is also known as the flagship city because we yep. house this replica of the Brig Niagara. So that's a little bit of history. And I was just reading, I'm going to read this to you guys. Because, okay, cool. Uh, something I thought was funny. I guess he was a, Dobbins was a prankster. Oh, okay. really? Oh, so no. I was just looking at some information before this video. So there's a portrait of Daniel Dobbins. Let me get a good close From Mifflin that. County, not to be confused with Dunder, Dunder Mifflin, Mifflin, yep. But Mifflin County, PA. He died at age 79. He was born 1776 and died in 1856. Buried in Erie Cemetery, U.S. Navy. Okay, uh, so <laughs> let's get to the practical joker side. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back. Uh, oh, let me find where it says. Oops. Come on, yeah. John. Uh, early life. Blah, blah, blah. Daniel Dobbins. Oh, look, Erie. Early life. Where was this? Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. What does it say about... Ha! Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find words. That's okay. Could you leave? It's tough to find. Okay. He's known as a man of remarkable temperament who was a known prankster. A, bi a biographer described one of his pranks. On one occasion, while anchored by a group of islands near the west end of Lake Erie, uh, Barty, a friend of his, decided to explore one of the islands and left in a small boat with his gun and dog. He promised he'd be back shortly. Dobbins got tired of waiting and hoping to frighten his friend a bit, pulled anchor and sailed around the island out of sight of the unsuspecting Barty. He actually planned to return after his friend had several moments of panic. 
But a sudden storm arose and forced Dobbins away from the island. <laughs> Assured that his friend's, her friend was in no danger, he returned to Port of Erie, and poor Barney remained on the island for three days until the weather cleared and he was rescued. So, <laughs> he was a prankster and kind of backfired. <laughs> but yeah, so, yep. So the cart horse distillery, you know, made a rum named after him. That's cool. Yeah, some of the uh, places around here do that. Like, uh, I don't know if you ever had uh, Mad Anthony Ill. Uh-uh. So, uh, Matt Anthony was another one, and, uh, I, th I think he even served with Perry, and he was a general, uh, an army general, but he might have been involved in, uh, it's, uh, let's see, Matt Anthony, but it, Matt Anthony Wayne was his name, uh, who also died in Erie. Oh, wow. But his family wanted his body brought back to the hometown not too actually how far away so they boiled his, his body in a big kettle now, i guess you go visit the kettle uh, i've never seen it and uh, they boiled his flesh off and hauled his bones back home wow buried his bones where he's from and some bones were said to have been lost along the way to falling off the cart and it, Says, I think it's the anniversary of death. Supposedly, his ghost rises up oh, and wow. searches for his bones. Wow. But he was quoted as, uh, and I don't know if it was to Commodore Perry or someone, that uh, Matt Anthony said, I'll even evade hell if you only make lead the way or something like that. <laughs> Holy but crap. Wayne is where he got the surname for Bruce Wayne, <laughs> a.k.a. Batman. Oh, wow. I didn't know I don't that. Know if, uh, well, can't ask me more. But yeah. How you can do that. Yeah, I'm with the piece so out. That, there's an eerie connection. Oh, cool. To Batman. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so. Well. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, he was well. a general, and I think. Well. Well, I'm sure he probably he was involved in the War of 1812. Mm. Well, with that thing about the kettle thing, maybe that was fired the kettle cooked potato chips. You never yeah. know. Yeah, he used the fat from his yeah. body. And I know. On your sl thin and sliced <laughs> potatoes. Well, the one thing about Captain Dobbins, he kept being asked this question. People kept bugging him. He goes, Captain, Captain, hey, Captain, 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 Captain. He turned around and go, what? And, go, and they say, where's Tennille? <laughs> God, that's so stupid. <laughs> I guess that's it. Okay. I had. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's see Wayne Coots. Okay. I had to tell that joke. It's so stupid. Oh, people. People who know me know that. Well, as for Howie too, it's so silly. Okay. Uh, oh, issue the order, sir, and I will storm hell. Yeah, it doesn't say who said that to you. <clears throat> Our officers and men behave like men who are determined to be free. But anyways, I just want to give you a little history on... Yeah, it's cool. Are, Thank you, buddy. No one would know who uh, Captain Dobbins is, yeah. unless you're a local. Yeah. So, yeah, so he was yeah. captain in the War of 1812 yep. in the Navy. Yep. Yeah. And he built the ships for the Battle of Lake yep. Erie. Yeah. So, yeah. And Jason and I tried this before. I don't know. Did you do a review before? I don't think I ever reviewed that. I don't okay, because our friend Brian. Yeah. Uh, well, he, he might, bought, might have done that. I don't I think remember. He might have. Had, I mean, could we have been back that distillery in like two years? Well, no. When, I remember at summer, we okay, had a go yeah. away party for Dan. Yeah, okay. Brian bought that big okay. bottle. Now I'm saving this for the holidays with my family. Yeah. So, okay. several holidays. Of course. Yeah. With my family, could be gone after Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, we, we like had just got the little bottles. Both the German and yeah. the Polish side of the family. <laughs> well, that's all right. I just got the little bottles, and you know. Oh, wow. I didn't know. So I don't know if you could see the picture oh, cool. on the back of the label. That's cool. And there's wax imprinting at the top. Really, it says neat. open here. No. <laughs> can you get that all in? You might yeah, tilt your camera cool. the other way. Yeah, I mean, but I could get it. I mean, like, well, let me see if I can get it close up. Oh, no, it's all the way. Well, if you flip your bottle to match the... Oh. Or your camera to match the bottle. Oh. Flip your camera to match... Oh, I got you. So then you can get... Oh, the okay. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. So, 
I don't know if you was able to show up. I know the light. It, it showed says, up okay. Because he had a ribbon in here. It says, don't give up the ship. Oh, okay. Which was, uh, quote, awesome. oh, it says, oh, sorry. The quote is, don't give up the ship. Yeah. Which is Commodore yeah. uh, Perry. Hmm. But here it says, don't give up the sip. Oh, don't give up the sip. Let <laughs> yeah. me see if I get in the light better. Okay. There you go. Let's Watch go out, people. It. It's going to go crazy here. <laughs> don't give up the sip. All right. If I get my stupid thumb out of the way. Oh, we got a glare here. All right, to get too much of a glare. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, there's a don't give up the sip. That's funny, don't give up the sip. I would laugh at that. He still looks like him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I'm going to hand it back to you, Jason, this okay. way. <laughs> yeah, his favorite, and yeah, I know Captain Dobbin's favorite song was Muskrat Love. <laughs> he did with Captain Daniel. <laughs> Captain Humor. All righty. Okay. Captain by Captain. Okay. All right. Nice bottle of rum. No, oh, nice. That's so sweet. <laughs> All right. So until next time, I please take care of my legion. Drink responsibly. Yep. <laughs>